In the last video, we were talking about trading by description and how we were talking about descriptive terms. And we said that they were useful, but they were never quite enough because quality matters. So what exactly is quality? Quality is the sum of the attributes of a commodity that influence its acceptability and value to many buyers and the price that they're willing to pay for it. So what does that mean? Well, basically that means is how, first and foremost, how good is this commodity? How good is the commodity that we're trying to sell? How many people want that commodity as it is? So if we look at the sum of its attributes and we look at how good is this commodity, how many people would actually buy that type of commodity? And not only that, but we're looking at how much are they going to be willing to pay for that? We're looking at how good is the commodity how many people want that commodity at that particular quality and then how much would they be willing to pay for it that's essentially what quality is trying to define so how do we come up with quality well we do that by grading grading is sorting the commodities into classes based off of their quality so we look at their quality and then we put them in these different classes these different basically uh, regions are different areas of how good that commodity is. So these classes then have a distinct, distinctive acceptability to a significant group of buyers. So we're dividing these classes up or we divide this commodity into classes based off of how many people want it and is there a significant group of people that might want it. So if we look at say the main quality grades of beef, so we look at the main classes of beef, we say prime, choice, select, and standard. So whenever we divided this up, we looked at, is there a significant group of people that might want prime beef? Yes, there is. Is there a significant group of people that might want choice beef? Yes. Is there a significant group of people that are going to want select beef? And then standard beef. So we're dividing this up in, by groups of significant groups of buyers. We're not looking at just one individual person. We're looking at significant groups. So what we do is we take these classes that we just defined by these significant groups of people and we make up these grade standards, also known as grades. So this might have to deal with, if we're going to talk about the quality grades of beef, it might deal with the marbling in the meat or something of that nature and also how old that animal is. So we take these classes and we make up these grade standards and we call them grades. So if you look right here, we said that these are the main quality grades of beef and these are the grade standards. So these grades conform to differences in demand. We all know that there's going to be a different amount of demand for prime beef than for choice beef. Prime beef is a slightly higher quality beef so the demand would be higher for that higher quality beef rather than choice beef. And that choice beef is going to be demanded more than select and then select is demanded more than standard. So we, these grades then conform to the differences in demand of our customers and it, it conforms to these demand differences among significant groups of buyers. And then we also look at these grade prices are based off of supply and demand. So if we look at, say, the difference between prime and choice beef, we know that prime beef is a lot more expensive than something like just standard beef. Well, and all four of these are going to have different price prices on that beef. Well, why is that the case? Why do we have different prices for different beef types even though it's all still beef? Well, because it deals with the supply and demand. Well, frankly, the demand is going to be higher for something like prime beef than standard beef, So the but the supply is usually often greater for supply or for standard uh, beef than for prime beef. So something like prime beef, we often have a low supply but a high demand. So ultimately, that's going to raise the price of beef, of that prime beef. Whereas something like, say, choice, for example. Choice has a slightly higher supply than prime beef, but it also has a smaller demand. And that often leads to a 
price being lower than this prime beef. So the prices of these different qualities of these different grades are based off of the supply and demand. So let's imagine a world without grades. If we did not have grades, we would have to visually inspect and then negotiate on every single commodity. If you walked into a store, a grocery store, and you're going to buy beef, you would have to visually inspect every piece of steak or every piece of meat before you bought it, and then you would have to negotiate for that price as well. So what happens is, because we have grades, grading sorts commodities into groups based off of what is the acceptability to a significant groups of buyers, and then also the demand differences of those different commodities, and it sorts them into these groups, into these classes, and it allows us to quickly reach that equilibrium rather than having to negotiate on every single commodity. So let's look at a scenario, shall we? So we have the Casper College Barbecue, and they're, go they're catering the Governor's Ball in Casper. And they were instructed, because this is a highly esteemed event, that they are only going to provide high-quality ribeyes. So in a world with grades, Oh, that's pretty simple, the solution. We're going to order only prime quality ribeyes. Because at the end of the day, these prime quality ribeyes are going to be a high enough quality. Now, is every ribeye steak exactly the same? No, they're not. There's going to be some, even though that they're all in this prime quality, there's still going to be some differences. And some steaks naturally are going to taste slightly better. But if you say, I want prime steaks, you are reasonably sure that all of those steaks are going to be of a high enough quality. Rather than breaking this down into a whole bunch of small classes, we can say, well, if we say that they're prime steaks, they're going to be of high enough quality that a significant group of buyers are going to want to buy them. So what if there are no grades? Well, if there were no grades, Casper College Barbecue must visually inspect each and every single steak. They must inspect every stake and negotiate on every price. Ultimately, what that does is that is going to highly increase the cost of those stakes. That's going to make it vastly expensive if we're going to have to inspect every single stake. Right now, we could just simply put in an order for a box of high-quality ribeyes, of this prime-quality ribeyes. Versus if there were no grades, we'd have to go in there and visually inspect each stake. And let's say that you're having to get, oh... Uh, 100 steaks. By you having to get 100 steaks, you would have to visually inspect 100 steaks, which would take you a significant amount of time, therefore increasing the cost. But because we have this grading, because of the grades, it allows us to quickly uh, just order that whole box of prime steaks, and then also allows us to reach an equilibrium in a much quicker fashion. 